Hello, beautiful internet family. Dan here from danstube.tv. And again, I've got another exciting video for you guys. This is Lychee's Waypoint Mode for the Mini 2. That's right, we can finally use Waypoints for the DJI Mini 2. Waypoints is probably the feature I want to see the most on DJI drones and for whatever reason DJI just don't do it and have been opposed to doing it for such a long time now. I thought we were going to see it with the Mavic 3, but no. For whatever reason they leave it and then an amazing company like Lychee or DroneLink or you know other companies like Maven or there's a Rainbow app out there now, they capitalize on that and basically they uh, have access to the SDK, which is a public release from DJI. And then from there, they can create something like this. So they can interface with the drone, so the Mini 2 in this example here. And then they can set something up like waypoints or following modes or tracking modes. And it really opens up the whole creative spectrum of being a drone pilot. You know, to be able to choose the paths you want to fly on with waypoints and repeat that every single time is so powerful and so useful. And then to be able to actually follow you is something that so many people want for the Mini 2 and just haven't been able to use. So Lychee have done something really cool here. This is the beta release. The footage you're seeing here is the beta release for Android. The public release will be coming out very soon. And also the iOS release will be coming out at the end of March. Probably April will be the time that we actually see um, yeah, Lychee's version of the iOS following and waypoints mode. So in this video, this is the waypoints mode tested on Android uh, in its beta version. And, and honestly, for a beta, like, wow, it's super stable and reliable. Similar experiences with the following modes for both the Mini SE as well as the Mini 2. It just works flawlessly and it's a beta, you know, like you would expect maybe some small issues or maybe some bugs or, you know, maybe it just has some issues with certain things. But no, it seems to just work flawlessly. It really is quite impressive. Um, how fleshed out it is, how many options there are, and how they all work just perfectly well, you know, like no issues with anything so far. So with the waypoints mode, you have full control to actually set different waypoints. So you can choose the path you want your drone to fly on, and then at each waypoint, you can set different actions. So you could maybe change the altitude, you could change the point of interest at certain points, so maybe the drone flies and it's looking off to the left. And then for the next waypoint, the drone looks off to the right. Maybe the third waypoint, it increases its altitude. And then the final waypoint, it comes down, but it looks behind itself. You know, you have full control over the flight path and you can save that and then replicate it every single time. It can be a little bit confusing and, and almost a little bit overwhelming when you tap on waypoint. So in the top left, you tap that button and then you have all your different options. Uh, when you tap on waypoint, it actually takes it over to the map interface. So that's where you have the option to actually set up all the different waypoints. You can set the path and you can choose all the different parameters here. Um, it's quite easy once you get used to it, um, but it is a little bit fiddly and something that um, I guess you need to play with a few times before it really does make a lot of sense. Um, but it's really cool because you can set all different points. You can choose, like I said, different altitudes. You can choose different point of interest. You can choose different actions that the drone does at different points. And you have all of those controls there. You can even choose like, let's say for example, the drone's gonna move to the right and you can make it more of a curved path. So instead of the drone getting up to waypoint two, turning right like a robot and then flying, it will actually bank around and it will go around that curve um, and look a lot more natural than it would if it was just a straight algorithm going, yep, straight and now turn right. You know, that just doesn't look uh, organic or natural, it looks very robotic. So they've kind of accounted for that and they've given you the option to also have some curved paths so that it will look a lot more fluid. The other option that's really cool is you have a drawing tool. So you can literally tap on that, you can draw a line, you could draw a triangle, you could draw a box, whatever you really wanna draw. And then that will actually create waypoints based on that drawing. And then you can individually tap on those waypoints and again, choose the parameters, choose the options, um, and you really do have a lot of control here. You know, it works flawlessly and again, is a very intuitive thing to use. Considering this is a beta, it works really well. But as you draw out for like a batch waypoint setting, you can see I've drawn like a weird upside down L here. 
and I can choose the altitude for different points or just an overarching one. You can choose speed, you can choose the curve size. There's so many different options here. Um, or you could just literally leave it as default and then it will set it up. And then from there, you can manually tap on each waypoint to choose like the direction that the drone is facing or the action that you want the drone to do at each waypoint. And then when you tap on go, it will actually give you a breakdown of how long it's gonna take. And it will give you a few other like key pieces of information to kind of figure out what the process is gonna look like. You know, how many waypoints there are, uh, what the flight path is gonna look like and roughly how long it's gonna take as well. So again, nice at a glance information. And then from there, you can just change between either the map interface or the video interface. And it will literally just do its thing. You'll see the icon in the bottom right as the drone's flying to the different points. You'll see exactly you know where it's flying to next. You'll see the actual like takeoff point, for example, or where you started the H, which is like the, the point that you started the, uh, the activity, you know, started that waypoint. And you can see now as I'm bending around the corner, previously it would just go right to the edge and then turn, but it's actually banking around a corner and creating a bit more of a dynamic kind of look. It still does look a little bit clunky and that's something they'll probably fix, I'm sure. But yeah, it still does a fantastic job, which is, is really cool. You can see with that H there, that was actually my takeoff point where I originally took off at the beginning of this session here. You can see the blue icon, the little circle is where I am, the pilot, and then you can see uh, exactly where the waypoints are and the point of interests are so again clear at a glance information and really easy to see you know it works fantastically well uh, the next one i did i went along i guess like a river here and i tried to kind of bank around a little bit at the end to see how that would respond um, but you can again choose exactly what altitude you want each point to be you can choose what you want the point of interest to do you can really choose whatever you want but you can see that i set the starting point um, a little bit further away from where the drone is. So straight when I press start, the drone will fly to that point. Depending on the altitude I've set it to, the drone will then lower or increase in its altitude um, to get to the point of, you know, the parameters I've set. And it just does it flawlessly. It's such a smart system. And again, had no issues with this, similar to when I was testing the following mode. It just works, you know, it just works as you would want it to work. I had no like moments of being scared or moments of, you know, the application doing something I wasn't expecting it to do. Like the application just managed my expectations at all times and it was great. So really, really exciting stuff to see here. Considering again, this is a beta. This isn't the public release. So it's gonna get even better as it gets close to the public release. So that's my initial experience with the waypoints mode for the Mini 2. Really remarkable stuff here. This is a beta version, like I've said multiple times, and I'm very impressed because I've tested Lychee in the past and I can see that they're improving. You know, I can see that it's more reliable, more stable than it ever has been. And the fact that they can release such a polished version this early is very impressive because remember, they're gonna iterate on this. They're gonna improve. They're gonna make it more stable, more fluid and it's gonna become an even better experience as the time goes on. And as it becomes public, you know, more people are gonna give them feedback and they're gonna be able to improve, add new features. And it's really exciting to be a Mini 2 owner right now. You know, even a Mini SE owner or an Air 2S owner, uh, you can get this now, you can get Lychee if you've got Android and you uh, apply for the beta, you can access this right now. Um, and yeah, you're gonna have all these new features. It's really, really exciting. And as I mentioned actually in the previous video, which is the, the follow mode video, you can actually record the audio from your phone. So if you're a pilot on the ground and you wanna do some commentary, you can literally talk to your phone and you will then have a voiceover to go alongside the video of you flying the drone, which is something so many people want and so many people ask for, but for whatever reason, DJI don't seem to offer that as a thing. It used to be a thing, but it doesn't seem to be an option anymore in the settings. So Lychee, again, is another benefit uh, to, to using Lychee is the fact that you can also record the audio from your phone as well as the drone footage as well. So that can create some commentary. That can also be perfect for you to just mention certain things. You know, you might want to go, okay, at this point here, um, I screwed up. Don't use that footage, you know, or at this point here, I really like this. Make sure to keep this. Whatever you want to say, it could just be commentary for you when you're editing later on or it could be something really cool. Like you could do a commentary piece that then you upload to YouTube of your drone flying in a beautiful location and then you kind of narrating it as you're flying through that location. 
So again, another major benefit of Lychee, plus all these other awesome features. Uh, check it out, let me know what you think, and I will talk to you in the comments. Can't wait to hear how everyone goes with the Mini 2 integration um, into Lychee. You know, can't wait to hear people using the following mode and the waypoints mode and capturing some really unique stuff because I know that the community is very creative and they're gonna love this. This is very exciting for Mini 2 owners. So I'll chat to you in the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and peace. Thank you.